Hey, Jesse. Good night, girl. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Hey, a that's little, awesome. A little tired. A little tired? Oh, because it's um, Monday, right? Oh, uh, see. <laughs> I don't know why everybody's so tired on Monday. It's really hard to uh, like start our new week, right? Every Monday is like a uh, completely like challenge for everybody, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know, but I'm so happy that you are here. That was a challenge for you. Well, you know what? I'm so happy because I have a day off today. Can you imagine? Ooh, that's amazing. Yeah, I have a day off. That means I have a vacation day today. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Yeah, it's really hard, you know, that I have a vacation. Yeah. Hey, I have uh, Dina here also. I have Carlitos Antonio. And I have Bree. Hey, Bree, how are you, girl? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I want to see your beautiful faces, guys. Don't worry if you're completely disaster or don't worry if you're in a hamaca. That's okay for me. No problem at all. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Hi. Hey. Uh huh. Hello. Oh, that's good. There you good go, evening, guys. Teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, good evening. Good Fine. evening, Dinita. Fine. Fine. Good evening, Carlitos. Good evening, Bree. Hey, Jesse uh, had told me that she's really tired today, she said. What about you? Are you tired? Yes. Yeah, a little bit? Yeah. Hard to start um, <laughs> Monday, right? I know, I know. How was your weekend, guys? Was it good? Good. I was fine. Teacher. Yeah, I was fine. I was yes. Fine. Oh, that's awesome to hear. What do you do, Carlitos? Uh, well, in my house. I stay uh, home. Okay. I stay I stay home and uh, check at the check at the how do you say the platform? The platform. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Do you have any problems, or are you still working fine with it? No, I am start the oh. uh, well level uh, or. Oh. Level four. Oh, they say? And sexual four. Sexual four, yes. That's amazing. Good job, sir. Wow, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Yeah. My, I, hey, I, that's that's cool that you take the, the took time to do the platform activity. Everything right now so far so good, Carlitos. Sorry. So Sorry? far so good. Uh, yes, yes. Good. So Excellent. far, yeah, yeah. so far so good. Cool. What about you, Brie? What about you, Danita? What about you, Jesse? Is everything just fine? Any exercise that you do have trouble with? Or, or maybe like, um, I don't know, like maybe some doubts about it? Was everything okay? It's okay. It's okay? Cool. cool. Very good. Good job. Hey, so Mr. Carlitos Antonio uh, has been a really good student because he has been working on the platform. Congratulations. You broke my heart, Carlitos. Very no, good. No. Yeah. No, what about you, Dinita? What about you, Brie? What, what you have done during the weekend? Anything new? No, nothing, Brie? I'm stay in, stay my home? Home, in my house. Mm -hmm. Did you watch TV? I don't know. Uh, the Friday, I, I went to the concert. Really? Just... Which one? Uh, orchestra Sim Sim Orchestra yeah. Sinfonica, Orchestra Sinfonica. Yeah, Symphonic? Symphony? <gasps> yeah. The Symphonic of El Salvador. The wow. President Theater. Oh, the President Theater. Wow. And yes. how was it? Was it good? Good. Yay. Uh, That's uh, great. Aided uh, music, pop, pop music. Really? Oh my God. Really? Virtually uh, pop music, or they play like one specific kind of music? Pop music. 
pop music. Uh, the the seventies, uh -huh. eighties. Oh, uh, awesome! You know what Beatles. I didn't? I didn't know about it. I didn't yeah. know about it. You see, <laughs> I'm a teacher that I need to like watch some movies sometimes, right? And also some news because um for me it's really hard to watch news right now i don't have time but it's really nice oh my god and let me ask you dina did you find out about that um concert over the um, social media on the news or where did they let you uh, know no it uh, social media social media and, oh. uh, my uh, i have a part Patient, uh -huh. uh, 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 play oh boy in the orchard. Oh, that's the reason. Why, oh, that's amazing. You know what, Danita? Every time that you have uh, uh, that kind of information, please let me know because <laughs> I love to go to concerts. Okay. Yeah, because here in El Salvador, <laughs> it's really hard. I think it's, we need to uh, like okay. more educate our uh, citizens, right? Because they're not uh, used to go to a concert, but concerts like symphonic concerts, right? Like theater, like plays, like cultural things. I love cultural uh -huh. things. I love by heart. My niece okay. used to play in, okay. also in uh, Senar, right? She used to study here. Dina. Yeah, okay. so I, I love to go to concerts to so Yeah, my, my, my son played the violin. The violin? The violin. The violin. The violin. Wow. <laughs> no, my niece used to play the piano. And also she played uh, the lira. And what okay. else she mm -hmm. played? Oh, and the saxophone. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I love it. Yeah, and she used to sing yes. yeah, in a little, uh, what, um, orchestra. But, but now basically she's like, she's 18 years old right now. She was in Costa Rica. But when she was here with us, she used to study at the Senar. You know what? I remember that when I was a little, <laughs> a younger, Young, it was yes. it was yesterday, okay? Yesterday. Yeah. 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 Always. <laughs> Thank you, Carlito. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my you are God. so gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I remember guys that Daxenar was in the downtown of El Salvador. I think it was near Park Liberty Park. And mm. when you were like little from four years old until seven years old they gave you the opportunity to get involved with four, um, four, like I, can, I cannot say like subjects maybe, you can, you can you get know to know about dancing, but, but about dance like a theater or something like that. Also get to know a little bit of music, art, and I don't know what was the other one, theater, I think. And, but you studied the four, the four subjects simultaneously from four years old until seven years old. So when you became eight, you need to decide which one you would like to focus on, right? And continue your career. That was when I was younger, but now in Senar, it's not like that way anymore. You just, since oh, yeah. the beginning, you need to focus on which one you would like. And you know what? I, I, I really think that it was better like the way that they taught me because you need, you get to know everything theater dance uh music and art and you need yeah. you can double check which one you are better on or you're good on and then you can decide to continue uh studying that right but nowadays not the same way they have changed a lot but i love yeah. it i love it yeah. i used to study like the four arts when i was a really baby girl four years yeah. old can you imagine Ooh. yesterday right yesterday Hey, but I'm so happy that you spent a really good time on your weekend. That's awesome. Yeah. If you have any pictures, you can share with us. Excellent. Thank you, Dinita. What about okay. you, Brie? Any news? Anything new? Uh, that's very funny. What? My weekend, it was very funny. Really? Why do you say that? <laughs> On Saturday, I'm sleep all day. <laughs> you slept all day? Okay, I slept all day. Uh, well, I, I, you know what? I believe you. <laughs> and Monday, I went to the beach. You went to the beach on Sunday. All right. Yeah. 
Sunday, yes. With your whole family? Yes, with my family. Hey, which um, specific beach did you visit? I visit uh, San Diego Beach. The, the Liberty, right? Liberty? Yes, Liberty? yes, yes okay. in All San right. Diego. And it, it was hot and very sunny. Real fog and ah, sunny. I know. I don't believe it, but the beach. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I do. But did you put some sun protection, sunblock, just in case? No, no, no. I only went to eat. Oh, <laughs> to, to eat. you didn't have time <laughs> to, to like, the... <laughs> take a bath on the beach, right? No, 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 no. Oh, just to have fun and just eat. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, but that's awesome. That's great. And what time did yeah. you came back home? Hmm? What time did you come back? Um, I um, came come back. Uh, no, you came back. No, came back. Right. I came back at Mommy. eight p.m. <laughs> really? Because of yes. the traffic, or because you wanted? Because I we want. Uh, oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> That's a good reason. We yeah. love um drive at night really well i love it but if you have a good visibility because you can also ask carlitos right when we're getting a little bit older right sometimes we need like use glasses and the visibility that the young people have we don't have it like a better at night especially uh, when it's raining you know what, what i don't oh, like so very, that so very, no, was they are, yeah that's great because when it's raining sometimes you have there's a hole on the highways and because they're covered of water you do not visualize and then you like yes got into it right? <laughs> yes um uh, i'm learning to drive yeah, and, that's good and, yes and it's good to me <laughs> yeah you know what i used to drive but i have more than two years without driving because i don't, I don't need it basically my husband takes me wherever i want to go but you know what uh, my mama's health is getting a little bit worse so basically what i have to do is like to like to take retake the the the, the car again so i think i'm gonna take some lessons just to like warm up again and yeah, you know, it's one important. Month, it is really important and because i don't have my driver license here <laughs> so i need to get my driver license i know how to and drive <laughs> me <but> too <laughs> yeah i need to continue to practice again and also to get my driver license because it's really important not only for a fancy thing right it's because for emergency right it's for necessity yeah same you need to learn how to drive yes <laughs> yeah so okay that's cool and i don't know right now i'm still working at home but hopefully they can they no call us and go back to the site because if i have to go back to the site uh -huh. i will need to drive yeah, well. <laughs> yes it's important yeah. i don't i don't want to welcome back at the contact center too no you don't want to go to the site you prefer to stay home <laughs> Me too. Yeah, it's better. It, yeah, it's really, really much better. Even though sometimes I get bored, <laughs> but it's really important. It's really <laughs> important. Yeah. Well, today, guys, I had to let you know. I uh, today they, my weekend was really long because I have a day off today. Can you imagine? Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah, today, guys, in the United States is a Labor Day. You know what Labor Day is? Yeah. Come on, okay. Yeah. Exactly. So I have a long weekend. That was amazing. So today I spent time with my mom. Yeah, I spent time with my mom. We had a really good time together. And then we're right back home at around five something. So uh, time for me to like relax a little bit and get ready for it. Yeah, so today was really, really fine. I like it. Hey, and you know, do you see something different today? Yeah. Your hat. Your yeah, hat. my no, very it, cool. Basically, <laughs> it's, it does, you know, this is one it. One it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do why I'm putting this? Oh, well. Hey, guys, because of a reason, you know, because of today's lesson, actually. Today's reason is really interesting. Mommy. Hey, baby. 
<laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Uh, you look like a a full French. A French girl. <laughs> French girl. You, no, actually, you know, this one came from French, from France. Oh, yes. Really? Yes. Well, actually, one of my uh, ex uh, husband colleagues, he he was he was working in the sales area, so he went to least once for some reason and i think it was for for working process purposes or purposes and then i told him you know what you should get me one of one at here please I'm, I'm going to pay it back so i asked him for black or, or red right but he found this one and uh well he brought it back and i was like oh, yeah i was so happy about it but I cannot go to France because of the quarantine, so I had to stay here. But you know what is really interesting? That this is from France, but it doesn't say made from France. It, it says made in Taiwan. <laughs> I'm just happy about it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like, oh, no way. Yeah, it's really interesting, right? <laughs> but this one is, is from France, definitely it is. It's warm, it's warm, it's really warm. Yes, it, you know what? I most of the time use all the things not for fancy purposes. It is for protect my a uh, my forehead for sinus problems. So that's why I used it. I love mm. hats, same one as and all the snaps, but this is for just health purposes, basically. Because most of the time I have been working in a call center when you don't know where you're gonna sit. And sometimes you sit under the air conditioner, right? And it's really cold. So I yeah. definitely need to wear something that protects my forehead that's the case but that's why guys today we're going to talk about important things that um sometimes what guys when we want to go to a specific place or we want to know where something is located we formulate questions in one way right but uh today guys we're gonna learn how we can formulate exactly the same kind of questions but in a different way and it calls indirect way and why I'm using this? Because most of the time, guys, we are foreigners. You know what foreigner is? No. Extranjeros, right? No. no. So uh, we want to, like, when we don't know, we, we don't live in that place, for example, we have to ask. For example, we want to go to a supermarket. How can you ask if you want to go to a supermarket and you don't know where to go? How are you going to ask that question, Carlitos, for example? Man. No, no, yet. If you want to go to a supermarket, for example, uh, okay, how can you ask me where is your supermarket? How can you ask? Formulate what question, please? Excuse me. Uh, do you know the strip the, the milk? Uh, Not the milk. No, how the Bali, Bali, or how do you say? Uh, Gondola. How do you say no, gondola but, but, but I don't want you to ask me something when you are already in the supermarket. I just want you to ask me a question. For example, is, uh, think think about that you are in uh, Parque Libertad. Think about that. Uh, and you yeah. want to and you want to go to the despensa familiar. So do me uh -huh. a favor. How can you going to ask that question? If you want to go to the despensa familiar, you don't know where is the despensa familiar. How are you going to ask a question about that? Or formulate excuse, a question. Excuse me. The could you tell me uh, where is the Parque Libertad? Or where is the Despensa Familiar? Yes. Yes. Or where is the Parque Libertad? Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or mm -hmm. for example, if you are, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Ah, yes. For, if you are in um, Cuscatlan Stadium. And right? Okay. Uh, and, for example. Uh -huh. Wait, no, wait a minute. I know, you know I'm going to ask somebody else. Uh -huh. He's in shape right now. He wants to answer no, all no. the questions. No way. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, that's no. okay, Carlito. Go ahead, go ahead. For for example, I'm staying in the Metro Centro. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, I, I am from the Sonsonate City for mm -hmm. my first time in, in Metro Centro. But uh, excuse, excuse, excuse me, could you tell me uh, what, uh, what, uh, Pass, pass uh, to next, uh, to Parque Libertad, please. Exactly. Or you also, you can ask where you can take 
a specific route, right? Take, when yes, I can take yes, a route 44, for example, or yeah. route 30, right? 30, Very good, 30. exactly. So guys, when you don't know a, mm -hmm. where is a specific place that you want to go, well, you ask questions, right? And we ask questions in a regular way. Do you know? But guys, there's another way that you can ask the same question. And that's what mm -hmm. we call indirect questions. That's what we're going to learn today. So let me ask you, let me ask you something. Uh, I don't know. Have you ever talked to a foreigner, an extranjero, alguna vez han, han hablado con alguien que les pregunta dónde está tal cosa? No, nunca se ha topado con un extranjero. No, no, no. No. Yes, at least with me. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Con okay. señas, contestar. Uh -huh. Hey guys, oh, bueno, hagamos una cosa. Let's, let's do a, another thing. Eh, ¿Alguna vez han preguntado dónde está un lugar? Have you ever asked where is a specific place? Cuando han llegado a algún lugar y no saben dónde es. Where is the bathroom, for example? Where is the bathroom, exactly. Si han ido a un hotel o si han ido a un restaurante, right? O a un shopping mall, for example. Where is the bathroom? Mm -hmm. That's a really good question. Or for example, you're out of cash and you need to take some money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Donde encontramos el money? In the cash. Uh, ATM? ATM. Uh -huh. No, just say ATM, Carlito. Don't complicate your life. ATM, okay. Yeah. Automatic transaction money. ATM. Okay. Uh-huh. And you want to know, hey, do you know where I can get a, an, an ATM, for example? That is a regular way that we can ask. But we're going to learn today how we can ask in a different way. And guys, um, I think we're going to use Frank in this time because Mr. Frank has a lot of experience in reservation and everything like that way, right? So he's going to use his customer service skills today, just in case. Hopefully Frank, he can listen to us, but I think he's still working. Well, he's gonna do our best. Okay, guys, I'm going to play an audio right now. And all that I want to know or the, um, is in the first question that I'm going to formulate, guys, I just want to know what you think about where this conversation takes place. Donde toma lugar esta conversación? That's what I want to know right now. See? Did you let me know if it's in a restaurant, if it's in a hotel, if it's like, um, I don't know, in the downtown, the supermarket, where is it? Yeah. Donde queda lugar esta conversación? That's what I want to know. You ready, guys? Yep. Listos? Are you ready? Yes. Hey. Yes or no? I don't hear you guys. Yes. yes. All righty. That's what I need. Page 11, exercise 8, conversation. Could you tell me? Part A, listen and practice. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, guys. So tell me, in your own words, where do you think this conversation takes place? Where? In a restaurant? In a no. city. In a city, no. yes. You're right about that. Okay, but it's not in a restaurant. Very good. Is it in a hotel? Maybe. A it's hotel. a street. Maybe it's a sweet baby. Okay. Uh -huh, yes. Any other places that you think this conversation takes place? In the street. Um, Where is the bus station? Oh. Ah, uh -huh. So, um. so Dinita and Bree says that this conversation takes place on a street. All right. Yeah. And Carlitos, he's not a hundred percent agree with her, with them. You think Carlito that is a hotel, right? No, it's a uh... For example, our places, uh, the buyer or or uh, he, he 
ourselves for the transportation too. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Okay, now guys, so you have a different ideas where this conversation takes place. Interesting. I'm going to show it to you later on. But now guys, I want you to listen to that conversation once again. And I want you guys to tell me what is exactly he asked for. I want you guys to pay attention or what was the questions that he formulated to the girl, okay? I think it's going to be like two or three questions. So just pay attention. I'm going to play it back and then just let me know. Page 11, exercise 8, conversation. Could you tell me? Part A, listen and practice. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. All right. So, guys, which are the questions that he wants to have an answer? What is the first question? The first question the is, uh, uh -huh. where, uh, could where you is tell the me... ATM? Where is the ATM? Okay. What other question, guys? Where is the restroom? Where is the restroom? Okay. What else? Um, take a bus to the city. Very good. Take exactly. Like Carlito uh, said, transportation. Often, and how often run. Exactly. Very good. You know what? Do you think that those questions are really important? All questions. All questions, right? Especially when you are new, like Carlito said, if you're coming, for example, from a different country, imagine, but if you're coming here, if we're talking about in Salvador uh, people, if you're coming from Sonsonate, and it's the first time that you come to San Salvador, of course you're gonna get lost, right? You don't, you don't know. Or for example, vice versa. If you're from San Salvador, like Brie, Carlito, Dinita, and imagine that I remember that I think Bane, right? Bane said that she was from Chalchuapa or Huachapan, I think. So can you imagine if you go there? Of course, right? You will be lost. Van a estar perdidos, right? So it's really important. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to show you right now the conversation. And we're going to double check who was right. A ver quién estaba en lo cierto. Dinita, Brie, or Mr. Carlitos Antonio. I don't know. Or maybe Jesse or Frank. Okay, let me show you right now. All righty, there you go. Who were right? Ta -da! Who were right? Nadia, right? Nobody. <laughs> okay, guys. So, which is this scenario? Where this conversation takes place? Donde, donde toma lugar this conversation? Airport? Airport? A airport? Airport. Uh, oh, bus station? Uh, bus station. Are you sure? Where do you know bus? You see, he has a luggage. Airport. <laughs> no. No. Maybe a airport or a hotel. A hotel, yes. Actually, it's a hotel. Very good, mm -hmm. guys. Excellent. All righty. Okay, so do me a favor. This is a conversation, but I, I want you before we pra, uh, before we practice that, guys. I want you guys to take a look at the questions. Could you could you me tell me where the nearest ATM is? No. Where is the other question, guys? Do you um, know right? The, do you know where I can yeah, where catch I can the bus? bus? Uh huh. Bus to Very good. May I have the other question, guys? Can tell me and you tell me how often the often they run. They run. Uh -huh. Very good. There's another me. question, right? And do you know where the restroom restrooms are? are? Very good. And the last one? The last one. Do you do see, you see where? where the sign is? Very good. Excellent. So guys, before we continue, let's practice the intonation, okay? Ready? 
Yeah? Ready. Okay. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Can you please repeat it, guys? Could you tell me where could you we, tell me where the nearest, where the nearest ATM is? Very good. Carlitos, I want to hear you. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Sorry, teacher. I'm in this moment. What? Excuse me. What? And what the uh, Eric or? This one, this one, Carlitos. Can you see number my one. screen? Yeah, number one, yes. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Very good, where is the nearest? Nearest, nearest. nearest. Yes. Okay. La que esta más cercana, nearest. All right, nearest. very good girls and, and Carlitos. Okay, the next one. Do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Can you know where I can catch bus in the city? To the city. To the city. Okay, one more time, guys. I want to hear Dinita, Bree, and Carlitos, and also Frank and uh, Jesse. Okay. Okay. Do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Do you know where you I know can where catch, I can a, catch bus a bus to, to the, the city? city? Exactly. Very good job. Excellent. All righty. Now let's continue with it. Uh, can you tell me how often they run? Can you tell me, can you, can you tell me how often how they're wrong? Very run? good. Next one. Do you know where the restrooms are? Do you know where the restrooms are? Restrooms are. Restrooms are. Very good. And the last one. Do you see where that sign is? Do you Do see you where, where that, that sign, sign is? is? Very good. Guys, all these questions that we have practiced and underline that those questions called guys um indirect questions preguntar de manera indirecta for example guys normally normalmente nosotros no usamos esto right could you tell solamente decimos where the where is the nearest atm nosotros decimos al sí algo así de nosotros solamente decimos where, para cuando queremos ver dónde está el, el sistema de, de cajero automático. Where is the near, nearest, you said, right? Nearest ATM. ¿Verdad que sí? ¿Es que solo decimos así? Normalmente. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Pero yes. cuando usamos el could you tell me, es una manera indirecta de pedir las cosas. Pero es como más polite, más educado, si quieren Exacto. decirlo de esa manera. Entonces, cuando usted dice, usted se dice, could you tell me? Podría where, decirme. Exactly. Where the nearest ATM is. Pero mire lo que pasa. Mire lo que pasa. Y quiero que se fije acá en algo muy interesante. Alrighty. Mire, cuando usted, por ejemplo, lo formula normal, vea dónde está el, um, el bird to be. Lo ve. Where is yeah. the nearest ATM? Pero cuando usted lo convierte en indirect question, mire lo que pasa con el bird to be. ¿A dónde está? Finally. At the final. final. Exactly. At the end of the question. Eso es lo único que Sí, usted tiene que tener mucho, mucho cuidado. Cuando usted use indirect questions, como could you, o can you, o do you, si ustedes se fijan todos, miren, do you, could you, ¿verdad? Can you, todos esos son maneras de decirlo de manera indirect, indirecta, más polite, más educada, pero tiene que tener en cuenta que el bird to be, cuando usted lo ocupe, va a ir al final. Eso es lo que yo quiero que usted vea. ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Le vamos a ense yeah. le quiero enseñar algo para que usted tenga una idea más o menos. I know it's easy peasy peasy. Pero, ajá. Uh -huh. Ya vamos a ver aquí. There you go, there you go. Ok, miren, aquí están. Miren, tengo ese, miren. Where is the nearest ATM? ¿Dónde está el ATM más cercano? Indirect way. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Miren la segunda. Where are the restrooms? ¿Dónde están los, los sanitarios? Do you know where the restrooms are? ¿Verdad que sí? Yeah. 
Ok, vea una cosa. Se podría decir que lo primero está fácil. Pero, I want you guys to take a look at something really important. Algo muy importante. There you go. Mire, uh, cuando usemos el direct question y tengamos una WH question, pero con el auxiliar do. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mire cómo lo hace. How often do the buses run? Mire acá. Aquí usa el do, ¿verdad? Y el ocupa el verbo principal run. Cuando usted lo convierte en indirect way, can you tell me how often the buses run? ¿Qué pasa con el do aquí? No está. There's exactly, there's no. So you need to be very careful with that. Pero ¿qué pasa cuando el do es con el tercera persona? Does no. the bookstore open? ¿Por qué bookstore? Porque es donde usted compra los libros, ¿no? Usted quiere, decir, quiere preguntar a qué horas Abre la librería, valga la redundancia. Mire. Tiene arena. ¿Sabe? Mire acá. Open. ¿Por qué está en presente? Porque estoy utilizando el DOS. Right? Y automáticamente me lo convierte ya, en ahorita, tercera persona. Lo a Entonces, mire acá. Cuando usted lo pasa en Andrew Question, dice, Do you know what time the bookstore opens? ¿Qué pasa aquí con el auxiliar do? ¿Dónde está? O el DOS. ¿Está aquí? En primero, al inicio, first. Eh, oh. Sí, pero ¿qué pasa con el auxiliar aquí en esta parte que me interesa? Eh, final, no está. En primero. Si usted se fija, no está. Por lo tanto, aquí yo no utilizo el DAS para antes del bookstore. Entonces, ¿qué voy a hacer con el verbo principal? Tengo que trasladarlo a tercera persona. Aquí no lo hice, mire, porque yo estaba utilizando el DAS. Pero aquí sí tengo que hacerlo. ¿Me entiende? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? ¿O tienen, yeah. ¿tienen alguna duda? So far, is it good? Teacher, I don't understand. Ok, ya But... sabía yo. Por eso estaba yo preguntando. All right. Vea una cosa. Mire acá. What time does the bookstore open? ¿Sí? ¿A qué hora abre la librería? ¿Verdad que sí? ¿Cuál es el verbo principal aquí? ¿Cuál es? Open. 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 Very good. Pero si usted se fija, el verbo principal open está en presente. ¿Es correcto? No lo, no lo tengo que conjugar, aunque estoy hablando de bookstore, que es tercera persona, porque tengo el auxiliar does aquí. Y este me dice automáticamente que estoy hablando en tercera persona. ¿Es correcto? Ok. Ok. Ahora bien, si yo digo... Do you know? O en vez de do you know, guys, puedo decir, puedo preguntar, can you tell me? Cualquiera de las dos puede ir. Póngale, can you tell me? En vez de do you know. Can you tell me what time the bookstore open? No, tengo que poner oh. opens. Open. ¿Por qué? Porque ya aquí, en esta parte, aquí ya no está la tercera persona. No está el dos. Como no está el dos, mi verbo principal que es open, uh -huh. tiene que ir relacionado con el subject de que estoy hablando. ¿De qué estoy hablando? De una librería, ¿no es cierto? ¿Es tercera oh, persona sí. o no? Yes. 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 Por lo tanto, el verbo no tiene que decir a what time the bookstore open. Tiene que ser a what time the bookstore opens. Open. ¿Sí? ¿Hoy sí? Yes. Really? Yes, I can. Thank ah, you. You're welcome. And the last one, guys. WH question with can. Where can I catch the bus? ¿Dónde puedo cachar el bus, no? O tomar el bus, usted quiere. Andre way, do you know where I can catch the bus? Mira acá. Mira acá. Where can I, dice usted, ¿verdad? Pero cuando lo traslada en tercera persona, you said, where I can. ¿Qué pasó? Mira, mira el orden. Mira el orden. Exactly. In a, in a regular way, usted pone WH question, can y el I, el verbo principal y el complemento. Pero en a indirect way, usted pone WH question, el subject, le el can, el verbo principal y el complemento. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Any doubts? Any question, guys? No, teacher. Thank no. you. You're welcome. Ven que tenemos que tener un poquitico de cuidado 
no solamente cómo lo escribimos, sino también how can pronounce it. ¿Verdad que sí? Puede ser un poquito, dice, ah, esto es fácil, pero no crean. Podemos enchibolarnos un poquito. Bueno, les voy a compartir algo. Vamos a compartir esto. ¿Qué les parece si hacemos un exercise? ¿Ya? Un exercise, les voy a dar las preguntas, así tal cual están. And I want you guys to transform those questions into Android way, ¿sí? Les voy a dar las preguntas normales. Y quiero que usted me las transforme, me las transforme en Android way. Check it out. Ojo, check it out. You need to identify, tienen que identificar if, si, is a WS question, si es una WS question, convert to be. Si es una WS question, can do. Y si es una WS question, con can. Porque dependiendo de eso, usted va a saber cómo tiene que transformarla. ¿Le parece? All right. Ready? Bree, Jesse, Carlitos Antonio, yes. Frank, Dinita. Yeah! Ready to rock and roll, y'all can do it, guys! Yay! Vamos a ver. Permítame tantito. Whoops. All right. There we go. Okay. I want you, I want to make it a little bit bigger. Just a couple of minutes. There you go. Let me get, get a little bit bigger. Oh, teacher. Okay. There you go. Okay. Dinita, number one. Check it out. Can you please read it normally? Me la puedes leer normalmente tal cual está. Number one. How much does the bus cost? Very good. Good intonation, Dinita. Congratulations. Okay. Take a look. ¿Qué es lo primero que tenemos que hacer? What we need to identify? If it's with W, if it's with B, if it's with do, or if it's with the third, third person. Exactly. Okay. Okay, Dinita. So you said, how much does the boss cost? That's regular way. How can you transform this question into indirect way? ¿Cómo lo transformas? Okay. Puedes uh, utilizar, do you know? Can you tell me? No hay problema. Cualquiera can de los dos. you tell me? Uh -huh. ah. Could you tell me? Lo voy a escribir a la par. Vamos a ver. Ajá, uh -huh. you said, could you tell me? Ajá. Uh -huh. Could you tell me? How much? How much? Very good. Cost the bus? The bus? The bus? Uh -huh. The bus? The bus? Cost or costs? Costs. Very good, excellent, good job, Dinita. ¿Por qué? Porque te acuerdas que quitas el dos. El dos y se convierte en. École. Exactly. And you transform the main verb, que en ese caso sería cost, en tercera persona, cost. correcto? Exactly. Very good job, good job, girl. Very good. Thank you. You know, thank you. Next one, Brie. ¿Lo puedes leer tal cual está? Where's the nearest internet cafe? Very good, Brie. Where's the nearest internet cafe? Okay. Brie, do me a favor. Vamos a ver algo. We need to identify, first of all, de cuál es. Mira. Es con do, con quién, o con el verb to be? Uh... Ajá. ¿Con cuál de es? ¿Qué, ¿Qué creen? Carlitos, Jesse, Bear Dinita. To Bear to be. Bear Very to good. Be. Bear to be. Exactly. Acuérdate que es contractado. Es apostrofe S. Yes, ¿sí? So, si es yes. to be, very good. ¿Cómo lo transformarías en tercera persona? A ver. O en, o en sorry, o en um, Android Way. ¿Cómo lo transformarías? ¿Puedes usar Can You Tell Me? ¿O puedes utilizar eh, Do You Know? Ajá, Bri. Could you tell me, ok. Could, could you tell me? Ajá. Uh, Ajá. Uh, where the, the nearest internet cafe? Okay, could you tell me where the nearest, you said? The where nearest. the nearest internet cafe is? Very good. Excellent. Internet 
cafe is very good. Very good, congratulations, excellent job. Remember guys, that if you have the verb to be, when you transform it into indirect way, the B is going to be at the end. And exactly at the end. That's why. Very good job. At the end, you see. Excellent. Good job. And Carlito, now it's gonna be your time, sir. What time number. do the banks open? Okay, now number three. Number three, yeah. What time do the banks open? Uh-huh. Uh, well, uh, I, I, on the right uh, way, can, please. Can you can you tell me? Uh, can you tell me what? Uh -huh. can, what you, to do? Yeah. can you tell me? Uh huh. What can time? You tell me. Uh, what time the bank the banks opens? The banks open. Very good. The banks open. Opens. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Very good, Carlitos. And the thing is, guys, that of course is with do, right? Is with do, but we're talking about plural. So when you transform it into indirect way, you're not gonna use this, but you just maintain this one. Excellent job. Jesse, are you ready, Jesse? Yes. Very good, Jesse. So that's that number four. Can you please read it? Like the way it is, léelo como está ahorita. How late do the bus run? Very good, Jesse. Now do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to transform that into Android way? Uh, can you tell me how late the buses runs? The buses run, very good. The bus is run, excellent. Me podrías decir que tan tarde corren los autobuses? Yay, very good, uh, guys. Excellent, good job, muy bien. Tengo otras preguntas, pero quiero que los voy a poner en equipos, ¿les parece? Vamos a ver, tenemos a Tati, a Jesse, a Bree, Frank. Frank, are you able to be with us or are you still working? I think practice is still working. Okay, so how many we are? We are eight. No, you are seven, with me, right? So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm going to put it in practice. I'm going to put uh, well, like four together, okay? So I'm going to put, Tanya, are you still with us? I, I'm asking because sometimes, guys, you have uh, internet uh, issues, especially if it's raining. Now right? it's raining. It's raining, right? And I have an issue, yes. In wow. my internet, yes, I have an issue. But but Tanya, are you able to listen to us? Yes. Yes, okay. I am able. But now, I am very. I have trouble because uh -huh. the screen now is, for example, now you are stopped. Uh huh. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. Ooh, so you have trouble with the images. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. And my connection is not good. It's not good. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to send the rest of the questions that we have to practice to the WhatsApp so everybody can have it, right? And then we're going to split the group so you can practice together, okay? Is it much better like yeah. that way? Yeah? Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, Bree. So WhatsApp. Alan, for WhatsApp, right? it's better, right? Okay, so yeah. let me just a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, I know. I Right now, to be honest with you guys, here is raining like cats and dogs. Here too. You do like cats and dogs? Yes. Woo. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know that. I can't imagine. Hey, I don't know why. That's why it has been really hot the whole day, right, guys? Oof. All right. So I'm going to share right now the information or the rest of the questions that I want you guys to practice. It will be questions from five to eight, okay? So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me share it right now with you. There you go. Guys, let me know if you received them. Okay, do you guys receive them? Yes. Yeah, does everybody yes. have it? Yeah? 
Okay, guys. Yes. So let me display it right now in groups. Yes. So you can work together. Okay. Let me check who's going to be with who. All right. Let me check. I'm going to create only, um, only two. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So let me check. I'm going to put Bree, Dinita, and Frank. And uh, yes, and Jesse in one place. And then I have Carlitos and Tanya in another time. Okay, cool guys. All right. Okay guys, so already uh, signed it to you. Please work on them and transform the questions into an indirect way, okay? Frank and Tanita, I want you guys to join the class, the groups that I created right now, please. Miss, I have a trouble with what my happened? connection. Oh, it's no, uh -huh, yes, it's no good. Maybe I need to go because the connection really, really is no good. It's no good. No, don't go. If you want, uh, you can practice with uh with Carlitos. Okay. Carlitos Antonio, are you here? Teacher, sorry, I'm so so little busy right now. Can you hold me one minute, please? Yes, of course, Frank. I please, understand. Please, Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. I got it. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Okay, guys, how is it going? Everything okay? Yeah. Yes. Are you working right now with the question that I sent it to you guys? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. What's yes, the first teacher. one? Where can I get quick meals? Okay, yeah. Where can I get quick meals? How can you transform that question into Andre Gway? Yeah. Teacher, what is the meaning of quick meal? Comida rápida. Ah. Pero comida rápida, no, no like pizza, no like that. For example, ah. guys, sometimes you have you don't have time. You can comer algo rapidito, como un subway, ah. por ejemplo, o un vaso de fruta, right? O un Podría licuado. Could you tell me where, where? where I, get, I, I get a quick meal? Cassie, could you tell could me you where, tell me where, where, I, where I, I get a quick meal? Very good. Where I can get. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Good job. Acuérdense que con el can, cuando le das puerta en el third and under a way, primero va a ir, I can. I can. Exactly. Very good job. Good okay. job, guys. What about number six? How they do the nice space open. Um, could you tell me, uh, can I I can... no, do, open. do, do, no, don't put do, it's uh, eliminate, in this mm -hmm. case, can you tell me, can you tell, uh, could you tell me, uh -huh. how late the how nightclub late? stay, ah. We delay do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, we delay the do. That's right. Very okay. good. Okay. Good yes. job, teacher Carlitos. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, teacher. He's my right hand. He's my right hand. Very good job, okay. sir. Okay. Now, number seven, Carlitos. Number seven. How early do the frame brown? Okay. In this case, uh, that's you. I, I, I tell you number five and number six. Tell me. <laughs> tell me, Tanya. Okay. Tell me. Do you how know early? how early the uh -huh. trains run? Do That's you know good. how early no. the trains run? Yes. Or could you tell me or how you... early the trains run? Yes, that's right. Because okay. you eliminated 
the two. Okay. Now number eight. Hey, and, hey number eight. And hey, Carlos, do, do, do you could you help us, Carlos? Yes. The last one. Carlos. I think, I think Carlitos, guys, he's letting me know right now to the chat that he uh -huh. has a problem with the internet audio okay. and he cannot listen like good right now. Okay. So he's doing his best right now, but I think he has ah, an yes. issue right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So. Continue, both of you guys. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. The number where is yes, the better, better to be because where is. An okay. expected hotel in the how early how does the train early run? Does the train. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Did you finish, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Good. How was the experience? Was it good? Good. Good. <laughs> so you see, now, guys, you will be able to know that you can also use the indirect way or indirect question, guys. But when you use it, it will be like more polite way to say it, más formal, manera de decir más formal, ¿ok? Yeah. Y es muy importante, porque puedes decirlo where, where can I get the bus, si, si, ya sabes eh, si es tu amigo, si es alguien que tú conoces, si cherada, pero si puedes ir a un airport, alguien desconocido. Exactly, si tú llegas a un restaurant, o llegas a un hotel, etc., you need to also formulate the question, but in a different way, ¿sí? Más como formal. That's yeah. why I'm teaching you this. Pero si tú ves, aunque es más formal, is ah, so let's copy paste. No. Tienes mm -hmm. que fijarte in writing and in speaking that the verbs, you switched it. In algunos, como can. In algunos, como do or does, cambias. Los quitas y yeah. pones opens, si es, o, o lo trasladas a tercera persona, si es una third person, ¿sí? Y el verb to be, ¿dónde va el verb to be? Cuando trasladas an indirect question. En medio, yeah, al principio at o al final. final. At, at the end. end. Very good job. Exactly. Muy bien. No te preocupes. Ya vamos a ver cómo están los otros chiquillos. Y okay. saben qué? Vamos a hacer así como de recepcionista de hotel. We're going to practice. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make a role play today. Para que ustedes sienten como que andan en la jugada. All right. Very good. So let me just <laughs> okay. one question. Let me go back. And I think, guys, I'm going to ask everybody to join the, the main uh, screen, okay? So let's go back okay. together. Okay, guys, so we have Brie, Dinita, Carlitos, Carl Danny. All right, I think Jesse had also problems, right? With the connection, I think so, because she's no longer with us. Oof, hopefully nothing happens. All righty, guys, so do you like the activity? Yeah? Okay, yes, it I like it. Interesting, right? Because it makes you think to put in yes. practice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, I, I like learned it. So far. Okay, guys, so. I want you guys to practice the conversation that we have seen. Carlitos, do me a favor. You look like if you are a man who loves to travel a lot. What? I don't understand. I don't understand. No, 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 no I listen. I'm just teasing you. No, uh, you look like a man who loves to travel. Ves como un chico que le gusta viajar mucho, right? Uh -huh. Entonces tú vas a ser el customer, ¿sí? Y como Brie, en teoría, ya tiene experience in customer service, right, Brie? Mm. Uh -huh. Creo que Brie was Brie saying, or B? No, Sorry. Brie. You're the only one right now because B is not here. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. So, Brie, you're going to be the front desk clerk. Chicos, cuando usted llega al, uh, al hotel, 
Y la persona que está en la reception no es la receptionist. Ah. Se llama front desk clerk. Se lo voy a poner ahorita acá en el chat para que usted vea front desk clerk. El front desk clerk es la persona que la atiende en la recepción de un hotel. Ok. Ok. El receptionist es la recepcionista cuando usted llega, por ejemplo, a una clínica o algo así, ¿sí? O a un restaurant. Pero en el hotel se llama front desk clerk. Ok. All righty, very good. So, Bree, you're going to put your, you want to put your customer service skills in practice? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Okay. okay. Yes, Carlitos. Teacher, excuse me. Uh, no. This moment I have a <laughs> problem kidding. with my... My wife, Oops. we need to open the, the garage. Uh, can you, da, yes. da, uh, Dina, please? Uh, yes, of course, Dina and Bree. Okay, go, go, go ahead. Don't worry about that. You're welcome. No, thank you. Okay, okay, girls. So I'm going to share right now my screen. And Dinita, you're going to be the customer. And Bree, you're going to be the agent, okay? So let okay. me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let me check. I think I have it here. There you go. Yes, I think this is one of them. All righty. Okay, but let me put it like a little bit smaller, right? Because this one is a little bit, it's a huge difference. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, can you see it, guys? Or would you like me to make it bigger? Can I lo haga más grande or can you see it? I see it. Yeah, can you see it? See? Yes. Yeah. All right. So in this case, um, Dinita, you're gonna be Eric, pero si tú quieres para hacerlo más chica, you're going to be Erika, okay? <laughs> okay, um, okay, Erika. And, yes, and Bree is gonna be Cleric, you see? Mira, aquí es el Cleric, eh? Okay. Okay, so can you please start, eh, Erika? Erika? Dale, you can do it. Excuse oh. me. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Uh, there is one upstairs across from the Dodi Pizza. Very good. Continue. Great. And do you know where I can catch a, a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And you can tell me mm -hmm. how often. Mm -hmm. Okay. You tell me. Okay. And can you tell me? How often they run? They run every 20 minutes also. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restaurants are? Right behind you. Do you see what that sign is? Oh, thank you. Thank, thanks a lot. Very good. Good job, girl. Good job. You. Phew, right? Excellent. <laughs> very good. Very good. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to share right now the, the, the dialogue. Great job, guys. Great job. I'm going to like clap for everybody. Great job. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share the, uh, the dialogue with you guys right now. And please do me a favor. Uh, try to read it carefully and study because I'm going to ask two big things, sorry, <clears throat> two volunteers for tomorrow okay so you can also make the role plays exactly like Dinita and Bridget. did it could be it could be them also puede volver a hacer ellos otra vez or maybe yes or maybe not so I'm going to share right now my uh, this um this dialogue with you guys so bear with me for a couple of minutes there you go let me check right now I just want to know if can you let me know as soon as you receive it please guys you go check there you go okay do you have it guys did you receive it yep no teacher tell no. okay let me know as soon as you receive it
I sent it to the WhatsApp already. Oh, no, no, no. No? All righty. Hmm. Okay, let me check. What about now? No, I think it's just... oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I knew it. Uh huh. I was like, right oh, now, God. very good. So, you have there, guys, the dialogue. Please try to practice as much as possible, and, and then we're going to practice again the dialogue tomorrow. And we we're going to continue just to make like a one or two more exercises about it so we can just like continue practices, especially the writing and the speaking, and then we will continue with our um. With the, with the rest of the topics. Guys, any questions, any doubts that you might have regarding today's topic? Any questions? No, so far, so good, Bri, Carlito, Carlito Antonio, Danny, Frank, Dinita. Everything is good. Is everything okay? Okay, guys, you know what? Time passed really fast. Wow. It's coffee time, Carlitos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. guys. Thank you so much for doing an extra yeah. effort, okay? I'm so happy. Hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. The dreams.